Hi everyone, how are you all? Hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to give you in clarity about inter passing marks and inter marks from Telangana State Board of Intermediate Education 2021. So so many of you are you asking that what are the passing marks for this subject and that subject. So in this video, I am going to give you all the details of inter passing marks and mass distribution grading system and all before going into the video if you are new to my channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icons to receive all latest updates from telangana state board updates so without further delay, let, let's get into the video first we'll see the ts inter marks so in order to qualify the manabadi intermediate exams that is a telangana state board intermediate exam 2021 students have to secure at least 35 percent marks in each subject in aggregate 350 out of 1000 marks are required to be passed in ts inter second year that's 2021 so you will be having uh, for total two years that is first year and second year including first year and second year uh, there will be thousand marks in order to pass you need to score 350 marks out of 1000 in your second year and uh, in order to pass for each subject you need 35 percent marks so we will see next the grading system uh, the grading system is they have mentioned like this that grade a1 uh, will be awarded to those students who have got the marks marks range in between 100 to 91 and the grade point will be 10 for them and for grade a2 marks range is from 90 to 81 or 81 to 90 marks grade point will be 9 for b1 uh, between 71 to 80 marks the grade point will be 8 and for b2 61 to 70 marks in between this uh, grade point will be 7 for them so this is the grading point system now we will see marks distribution for MPC, BIPC and CEC and other courses as well. So first we will discuss MPC marks uh, distribution. So for first year you will be having a total of 470 marks. Okay, 470 marks. I will tell you each and every subject marks uh, in upcoming video. So stay tuned, don't skip the video. Uh, so in first year you will be having 470 marks and for second year you will be having 470 marks. And practicals will be for 60 marks that will be uh, included in your second year marks. So the total will be 1000 marks uh, after completion of your second year. So two year course they will be award you for out of 1000 marks. So if you see for subject wise marks distribution and passing marks. So subject is English marks 100. So you, for MP student they are having English second language. The second language may be hindi telugu sanskrit urdu arabic so second language will, will be any language that is for 100 marks and for maths a that is for 75 marks and maths b this one a one b the maths uh, b will be for 75 marks and physics is for 60 marks and chemistry is for 60 marks so this is the marks distribution in order to pass the border score if you want to pass and if you want to pass the uh, subject then you need to score for passing marks in English out of 100 marks you have to score 35 marks in order to pass and in second language that may be Hindi, Telugu, Arabic, Sanskrit or Urdu that is for 100 marks you have to score 35 marks in order to pass and for maths A that is 1A uh, that will be for 75 marks question paper in order to pass you need to secure at least 27 marks this is the border passing marks you should score if you want to pass and for maths we also out of 75 you have to score 27 marks physics uh, this is for 60 marks so in order to pass you need 21 marks and for chemistry uh, the question paper will be for 60 marks and you need to score 21 marks in order to pass so this is the marks range out of this you have to score this uh, pass marks that is for 35 35 out of six score say 27 out of 60 you have to score 21 marks in order to pass so this is the marks distribution for mp students let us see for uh, practicals in for mp students so for mp students there will be two practicals for physics and chemistry for physics you will be having 30 marks and for chemistry you will be having 30 marks so in order to pass these practicals you need to score at least 11 marks in physics and 11 marks in chemistry in order uh, to pass so passing marks for this is 11 and 11 but uh, if they this marks will be awarded by your college so they will put 30 or 
27 like that so don't worry about this just focus on your theory examinations but you have to do these practicals as well then if you see for BIPC students for first year students the marks for first year students for BIPC is 440 marks okay I will tell you all the each and every subject distribution later in this video so stay tuned so for first year 440 marks and for second year 440 marks and for practicals 120 marks so we have saw that for MPC there will be only 60 marks for practicals so uh, the total of this is 1000 marks 440 plus 440 plus 120 the total will be 1000 marks so this practical marks 120 marks will be included in your second year marks so they will award you like that so this is total of first year marks and this is for second year marks so if you see for subject wise uh, english second language botany zoology physics chemistry english is same as uh, both mpc uh, mpc by pc and all the students so marks is for 100 marks english subject is for 100 marks and in order to pass you need to score 35 marks out of 100 and second language same like hindi telugu arabic and uh, Urdu or Sanskrit second language so this is for 100 marks in order to pass you have to score 35 marks so botany is for 60 marks in order to pass you need to score 21 marks zoology also 60 marks to pass you need to score 21 marks physics also is for 60 marks uh, passing marks is 21 and chemistry is 60 marks and in order, in order to pass you need to score 21 marks so this is the marks distribution so botany is all the physics chemistry is for 60 60 60 marks and in order to pass you need to score 21 marks so this is the border marks you have to score so for uh, if you see for practicals botany is for 30 marks physics is botany is for 30 marks zoology is for 30 marks physics is for 30 marks and chemistry is for 30 marks this is for by pc students so if you uh, add 30 plus 30 30 and 30 for all four practical subjects we will get 120 marks so if they give you college will they give you 30 marks if you are a good student if you are a regular student if you are punctual and all the things they will consider and they will award you marks and on the basis of practicals how you perform and uh, they will give you 30 marks 30 marks 30 marks 30 marks so this is for practical is for 120 marks each subject is for 30 30 they will give you so this is about a by pc practical mass distribution if you see for c you see that is commerce economics and civics so for first year 500 marks and for second year 500 marks note that there will be no practicals for cec students they will be having 500 marks in first year and 500 marks in second year the total will be for 1000 marks so for e subject wise if you see for cec students if our english is for 100 marks out of that uh, they should score 35 marks in order to pass and second language same like hindi telugu urdu arabic or sanskrit uh, is for 100 marks and in order to pass you have to score 35 marks commerce is for 100 marks passing marks is 30 economics is for 100 marks and to pass you need to score 35 marks civics is for 100 marks and in order to pass you have to score 35 marks we got all these uh, marks 100 200 300 400 500 so this is for first year and second year is also same for us there is no practical in c for cc students so this is about marks distribution hope you guys find this video informative if you find this video informative then hit the like button and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel and to receive all latest updates from Telangana State Board of Intermediate, hit the bell icon, uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive all new notifications. So, I hope you guys find this video informative. For more updates like this, subscribe to the channel and you can also follow us on Instagram, link in the description box. Thank you for watching.